Hey guys, how's it going? This is Vaishral Hale here, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial video on how to install set point 6.3, 6, 6 I think. Um, anyway, uh, here here's basically what the problem is. Um, set point is a software made by Logitech, and the... Um, the mouse that I just bought, which is a wireless mouse, um, when I plugged it in, it um, it installed. It worked fine, but I wasn't able to use the extra buttons that I wanted. So I found out that there's a program that Logitech had called Setpoint, and uh, basically, when I tried to download it, I got a blank screen. And I guess this problem has been happening with a lot of people, and it's rare to see that no one has come up with a video or found the answer yet. So I just want to let you guys know I have the answer. Here's the video, and uh, all you got to do is follow the instructions. So basically, uh, what the problem is is when you, you plug in the unifying mouse receiver or the USB receiver, the little wireless thing that goes in your computer, you um, the computer ba basically installs it as a mouse driver, just a common. A USB wireless mouse, not a Logitech, certain branded mouse that you may have bought, just a regular wireless mouse. And that's what the driver is. And there's a problem with that. And the problem is, is because when you try to open up Setpoint and you get that blank screen, it's because it can't detect a Logitech mouse. So what we need to do is we need to fix this by uninstalling what we've pretty much already got on here and uh, reinstalling the new software that we're going to get. So here's what we're going to do. First we're going to go to start, then we're going to go to computer, then we're going to click on uninstall or change a program. Once we're here we're going to get a list of our programs installed and we're going to try to find um, Logitech Setpoint which is right here. I'm not going to uninstall it because I've already done this but here's what you're going to want to uninstall. Now if you don't see this that's fine but you definitely need to make sure that this program isn't on your computer already. So after you've done that, you're going to restart your computer. And just so you, got, you guys know, we're going to be restarting the computer a few times during this tutorial, so be prepared for that. Um, and yes, it is necessary if you want this to work properly. So after you've uh, restarted your computer, let's say you've booted up again, we're going to click on Start, and we're going to go to the search bar right here and type in Run. And this will come up, and we're going to go ahead and type in MS config and then we're gonna hit OK or enter and you're gonna get this window comes up that says system configuration and basically what we want to do is we're gonna check off a couple things first thing we're gonna check off is selective startup and keep in mind if your if your computer already says this this is fine just leave it the way it is but we're gonna click on selective startup and we're going to tick off or we're going to tick on load system services and load startup items so make sure it looks exactly like this then we're going to go to the services tab and we're going to click on hide all Microsoft services then we're going to go over here and click on disable all and it'll just untick all these services right here and then we're going to click apply and then OK so after you've done that, you're going to want to restart your computer again. And your computer will restart, and pretty much let's say that we've booted up again. So now once we're here, we're going to launch our internet browser. And it doesn't matter what browser you're using. Let me launch a fresh browser. It doesn't matter what browser you're using. Me personally, I like to use Google Chrome. But um, we're going to go into our internet browser, and we're going to go up to the the URL bar up at the top and we're going to type in ftp.logitech.com and we're going to go ahead and hit enter and this page is going to come up now keep in mind for whatever search engine or I'm sorry search browser or internet browser you might be using this page might look different so don't worry as long as you see these um, links down here you know you're it's okay so um, once you get to this point, you're going to want to go ahead and click on PUB, pub, 
and then you're going to want to click on tech support and then we want to scroll down to mouse okay and if you're having the same problem with a keyboard too you could still click on mouse to to fix this problem but right now let's just focus on the mouse I just thought I'd throw that in there while we're doing this so basically once this page loads up we're just gonna scroll down until we get the latest software because we always want the latest software for um, the Logitech set point and right now the latest one um, is 6.3 so you'll see set point 630.exe and what you want to do is you, there's a few of them actually I think there's six there's six of them and we need to know which one we want to download and to know which one we need to download we need to know what operating system we have I mean so we're gonna need to check that so you're gonna go to start you're gonna click on computer and system properties and you'll notice that I'm running a 64-bit operating system so what we'll do is since we know we're running 64-bit we're gonna go down to this one right here set point 630 underscore x 64 dot exe and that's the one we're gonna download so let's see now if you're running a 32-bit system I believe you're going to want to download the 630j underscore um, 64-bit so um, that's what you need to keep in mind it, it, and the 64 doesn't mean 64 bit it's just x64 for whatever reason I don't know why um, but yes that's this is for the J underscore it 64 is for 32 bit and the underscore x64 is just for 64 bit so since I have 64 bit I'm gonna click on this and it's going to start my download right here um, I've already downloaded this so I'm just gonna cancel this right now and after you have downloaded it you're gonna to wanna to go to your downloads folder or wherever your download might have been saved and let me try to find out I have to here it is uh, set point six three underscore sixty four we're gonna double click on that and you should be asked to run it maybe not I'm not sure how your computer set up and let's see if it'll come up I again I already have this installed so the process is a little different for me but as long as you listen to what I'm saying it should work fine okay so here's the set point setup and there you go this is this is pretty much it um, you're gonna run the installation um, using this wizard right here and then after you've installed it I'm just gonna exit the setup and tell you guys after you've installed it what you want to make sure you do is restart your computer again and when you restart your computer you're gonna go back to start don't don't try to just so you know when you when you run the program or when you've installed the program restart your computer right away don't try to run it just restart it again and then you'll get this boot up okay and then you're gonna click on or you're gonna click on start sorry I'm kinda of mixing my words around a little bit you're gonna click on start after you've restarted your computer and you're gonna type in run okay and you're gonna do the same thing MS config hit OK and you're gonna get this back you're gonna get this um, screen and basically what you wanna do is you wanna put your computer back to the way it was you wanna click on normal startup and you wanna to go to services and you wanna make sure this is unticked and you wanna have all these programs um, ticked so basically they're che they're checked off so after you've done that you click apply and then you click OK and then that's pretty much it and then you gotta reinstall it or I'm sorry you need to reboot your computer one more time so you're gonna need to, re need to restart it and after you've restarted your computer you uh, you go here to that you'll see the little Logitech icon or that and it'll all be working and you can access your mouse's controls um, I'm not going to go into how to use this mouse program because I don't really know yet, but it seems pretty simple. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been a Vice Show Hail tutorial, and uh, 
subscribe to my videos, comment, and rate.